Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to play Long Story Short um, from Evermore, which is Taylor Swift's second lockdown album. Um, I don't know about any of you, but does anyone else feel that Taylor Swift has just done far too much achieving in lockdown? Um, two likely about to become internationally acclaimed albums. I personally have just spent time creating a divot in my sofa and broadening my Netflix watch list. Anyway, with that being said, um, this is what it's going to sound like, and yeah, I'm definitely still learning the words, so apologies. Faithfully, I tried to pick my battle back with me Misery, like a pour of words I shouted in my sleep Yet you passed right by, I was in the alley surrounded on all sides The knife cuts both ways, it's a short fits walking it until your high heels break And I fell from the pedestal, right down the rabbit hole, long story short seven chords. So you're going to need a C, an A minor, an F, either in this bar chord version or this kind of um, mini bar cheating version, um, a G, a G slash B, an E minor, and a D minor. So if you know how to play all of those chords, skip ahead, and if you don't, keep watching. So high E string, string on, low E string, string six. So first of all, to play a C, you're going to put your first finger on the second string at the first fret, your middle finger on the fourth string at the second fret, and then your ring finger on the fifth string at the third fret. So this is a C. So to get from a C to an A minor, you're going to leave your fingers in exactly the same position, except you're going to move your ring finger to the third string at the second fret. So you've got an A minor. And the next chord is an F. You can choose in the song whether you want to play the bar chord or this mini bar version, it's your choice. Um, if you're more of a beginner, I would suggest using the mini bar version and then trying to drop in the bar chord version at points. So to play F in the bar chord way, you're going to bar all of the strings at the first fret with your first finger. You're going to put your middle finger on the third string at the second fret, your ring finger on the fifth string at the third fret, and your little finger on the fourth string at the third fret. So this is a bar chord version of F. Now, to play a mini bar version, what you're going to do is you're going to bar the first and second strings at the first fret with your first finger. Pop your middle finger on the third string at the second fret, and then your ring finger on the fourth string at the third fret. Um, now, when you strum this chord, don't strum the sixth string. And the next chord you're going to need is a G. So you're going to put your first finger on the fifth string at the second fret, your middle finger on the sixth string at the third fret, your ring finger on the second string at the third fret, and your little finger on the first string at the third fret. Now, to play a G slash B, all you're going to do is just take your middle finger off, but leave your but leave the rest of your fingers where they are. So you've got a G slash B and then a G. Like I promise I am playing a different chord, you just can't really hear it that well. Um, if you don't play a G slash B and just substitute that with a G, that's also fine. So to play an E minor, you're going to pop your middle finger on the 5th string at the 2nd fret and your ring finger on the 4th string at the 2nd fret. Last chord now, D minor. So to play a D minor, you're going to pop your 1st finger on the 1st string at the 1st fret, your middle finger on the 3rd string at the 2nd fret, your middle finger on the 2nd string at the 3rd fret. And we have a D minor. So all the way through we've got a C, an F as a bar chord, or a mini bar version, an A minor, a G, an E minor, a G slash B, and a D minor. So throughout this song there are two main chord patterns with some slight variations on these chord patterns, but the main thing I want you to bear in mind is you hold each of these chords for four beats. So let's start with the intro. So the intro is kind of quite percussive um, and there aren't really any obvious chords that fit with it. Um, I would suggest just play in a C, just hang out on a C for a while for the intro. Then we get to the chord pattern for the verse. So for the verse you've got an F, a C, an A minor and then a G. And we're going to hold each of these for four beats but it's quite a fast four beats. So you're going to play that chord pattern four times and that will get you through the verse. The strumming pattern I would suggest for the verse 
once again sounds like this. <laughs> down, down, up, up, down, up, that approximately lasts for about four beats, so you just play it once on each chord and then change chord. So let's play that along with the chord pattern. I'll play the chord pattern a couple of times and then I'll maybe add some words on top. Lucky you! So you've got an F, C, A minor, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So the chorus is the bit that goes, and I fell from the pedestal right down the rabbit hole, which is most unfortunate really. Um, so the chord pattern for the chorus is kind of similar to the chord pattern for the verse. So you've got an F, a C, an A minor, and then a G. And then you repeat all of that three times. Then you've got a C, an F, a G. And then you've got a C, an F, a C, a G another G. Um, so let's kind of put all those chords together, we'll pop in a strumming pattern and I will sing the words on top so feel free to play along. And I fell from the pedestal right down the rabbit hole, long story short was a bad time. Pushed from the precipice, clung to the nearest lips, long story short was the wrong that I, now I'm all about you. another chorus and then you get to the bridge. The bridge is the bit that goes no more keeping score now I just keep you warm. Now I'm not gonna lie the chord pattern for the bridge is slightly random and um, I haven't really been able to pick out a repeating pattern in it so I'm just gonna kind of put the box put the chords in boxes around my head and I'll just arrange them in groups of four because why not we like four we like symmetry and when it comes to thinking about a strumming pattern for these chords in all honesty it's kind of difficult to fit a strumming pattern with this section of the song. I would probably just go for down strums on each of these chords. So the chord pattern for the bridge. So you've got an A minor, a G slash B, a D minor, and then an A minor. Then a G slash B, a D minor, an F, and then an A minor. Then you've got a G slash B, a D minor, an A minor, another A minor, then an E minor, an F, ooh, excuse me, an F, and then a G. And that's the whole bridge. Ugh. Ugh. One of my biggest regrets before going back into lockdown for the second time was not being proactive enough to organise to get my hair cut. But there we are. After the bridge, you then go to another verse which says, Pass me, I want you not to get lost in these pretty things. Oh, uh, petty things, sorry. Petty and pretty, big difference in those words. And um, so, the verse, that verse is slightly different to the verses which have come before it, and um, it's a lot less goey. So I would just kind of suggest just doing your single down strums for this verse exactly as you did for the bridge, um, and then kind of adding in a strumming pattern when the whole thing gets a bit more goey. So that's how to play the whole song, so please comment, please rate, please subscribe, and please request. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you thought of the album. I personally thought it was great. The first time I heard Folklore, um, it really took a while to actually kind of grow on me. This one though, I really like, um, and I particularly like Long Story Short. I think this is probably my favourite song thus far. Um, though I quite like Champagne Problems as well. Um, and yeah, so let me know if you want any more tutorials for that. So yeah, please comment, please share, please subscribe, and please request.